Hey everybody, this is Brother Paxton. I'm coming to you today for this devotion from Marilla, Michigan. I just love how the Word of God inspires faith and puts down fear at every turn. Listen to a couple of verses here that I've been meditating on. Joshua 1 and 9, God says, Have not I commanded thee? Be strong and of a good courage. How we need that today in the church of Jesus Christ. Be not afraid, neither be thou dismayed, for the Lord thy God is with thee whithersoever thou goest. That means when you go through the valley of the shadow of death, God is with you. When you go through COVID-19, God is with you. When you go through the next thing that's coming down the pike, God will be with us. He's with us wherever we go. Listen to this verse, Psalm 23, verse 4. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. I heard a preacher say one time that a shadow of a dog has never hurt anyone. A shadow of a dog can't bite you. Okay? We're going through the valley of the shadow of death, but I will fear no evil. For thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff they comfort me. One more verse, Isaiah chapter 35, verses 3 and 4. Strengthen ye the weak hands, and confirm the feeble knees. Now that's, a, that's our job as leaders in the church, but it's our job just as Christians as well. Strengthen those who are weak. You don't do that by wringing your own hands and freaking out and getting into panic yourself just understand and realize that God is with us. He, Nothing takes God by surprise. And so we can strengthen those who are weak. Say to them that are of a fearful heart, be strong, fear not. Behold, your God will come with vengeance. Even God with a recompense, he will come and he will save you. And so I am so excited about the next chapter in our lives as the Church of Jesus Christ in 2020. We are preparing and we are prepared for a great harvest of souls to come into the kingdom of God. Man, go find someone who needs help today and strengthening today and speak the Word of God into their life because it defeats fear, it defeats worry, it defeats habits. We've got the answer that this world needs and that answer well, his name is Jesus Christ, the Son of Almighty God. Amen. From Marilla, Michigan, I want to encourage you today to get victory over fear in your life, but also spread that victory around. Spread that joy around. Tell the good news. Jesus came to save sinners. And in that salvation, he changes our very makeup as the Holy Spirit conforms us more to the image of Christ. God's got this. He's placed a great opportunity in our hands right now. Let's go out and win them for Christ Jesus in these last days. This is Brother Paxton saying, so go with God, and he will go with you. Bless you.